Now your live Doppler 18 forecast with meteorologist Jesse Hawila. Weather from where you live. Well, we've stayed under the cloudy skies all evening, and here we are into the uh, overnight hours. Still under the cloudy skies. If you notice on precision, though, we are out of the rain activity. Off to our northwest, there's this band of showers that's set up across parts of Illinois, Michigan, and even into Missouri. It's kind of fizzling out as the evening progresses. And if we go even farther out into the eastern half of the United States, you notice this more unorganized area of showers and thunderstorms well off to our south. That's going to continue to meander off to the northeast. Not going to really bring us a lot of rain. However, it is going to bring us just a slight chance of rain for your Mother's Day plans tomorrow, but nothing to cancel plans over. Tonight, right now, it is cooling off quite considerably over the last couple of hours. We're in the upper 50s already, 58 degrees outside in Lafayette, and our winds are calm out of the northeast. We had a gust as high as 11 miles per hour earlier today, so the wind's not really a big deal. In fact, they won't be for the rest of the week. Futurecast showing your Mother's Day plans. This is Sunday evening through Mother's Day, right around 6 in the morning. Notice we stay with the cloud cover. So the beginning of Mother's Day will be a cloudy day, but it should be okay. It should be dry. I'm not expecting a lot of rain, but we're going to stick in a chance for spotty showers throughout the day. And lows tonight will continue to fall into the lower 50s. 50 for the low tonight in Rochester, 51 in Logansport, 52 in Monticello, 54 degrees for the low tonight in Crawfordsville. Future cast Sunday morning through Sunday evening. So Mother's Day looks okay. Notice the rain painted here on future cast in the evening hours. This is going to be very spotty in nature. Not everyone's going to see the rain. And if you do see the rain, I don't really think it's going to last that long nor be that heavy. So just keep that in mind tomorrow. Maybe some brief showers throughout the day, 68 by noon. So if you have any lunch plans with mom out there, they should be okay. 73 for the high tomorrow. Lower 70s in our northeast county, 71 Rochester, Winnemag, maybe some mid 70s in our southwest county, 75 for the high in Perrysville, 74 Pence, 73 degrees the high in Fowler tomorrow, Sunday evening through Monday morning. That system's going to continue to get its way out of here. Look off to the west. Nothing going on. In fact, that is going to be the weather pattern for the next several days, and the seven day forecast looks quite Impressive, 52 degrees the low tonight. So again, spotty showers possible through tomorrow. Those will come to an end Sunday evening and overnight. 73 the high tomorrow. Temperatures go up, rain chances go down. We are going to be under a dry air mass. It's going to look like Southern California, guys. Look at that, 77 Tuesday, sunny skies. will stay mostly sunny through Saturday. Highs creeping into the 80s by Thursday, mid 80s by Saturday. So. An excellent seven day forecast. That gets an A plus. I, I give you an A plus. Gold star yes. on, on your paper today, I love Jesse. Gold stars. <laughs> Ross gave you one earlier, too. Did he? Wow. And even a sticker, too. That's yeah. Well, with a forecast like that, you can expect Caleb Martin's going to get some more sunburn this weekend. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Although I think he had some sunscreen on yeah. today. I'm not I sure. I, I think he did. Think so.